While real-life F1 may be flagging somewhat after more than half a decade of spirit-sucking Mercedes dominance, Codemasters' F1 games have only become stronger every year. F1 2019 continues that winning run. The improvements over F1 2018 are only moderate, but F1 2019 is not only the best F1 game to date, it's one that's frequently more thrilling, more interesting, and more rewarding than watching the real thing. This year's biggest bullet point is the addition of the Formula 2 World Championship, which exists in F1 2019 as a standalone championship and also as a heavily truncated appetizer to kick off F1 2019's returning 10-season career mode. Codemasters has been adding retro F1 cars to the F1 series for some time now, all with their own handling nuances that set them apart from today's bleeding-edge F1 cars, so it's no surprise the studio has been able to squeeze in the Dallara F2 chassis and have it feel equally distinct. They're not as fast as F1 cars, but they have less downforce, so they're actually slightly trickier to drive in certain situations. For this year's career mode, F1 2019 condenses a season of F2 down into a brief string of three scenarios plucked from what's destined to be a race's final year in the feeder series before snaring a contract in the big leagues. Here, Codemasters introduces a pair of fantasy drivers, the shrewd but sportsmanlike German Lucas Weber and the arrogant Devin Butler. Whatever. And it's the closest Codemasters has flirted to an engaging story mode within a racer since the pro race driver days. Unfortunately, it all dries up following your driver's promotion to F1. Weber and Butler will make the leap alongside you, but the animated interactions cease and are replaced with the occasional text interview emailed through to your inbox by your agent. From that point on, it's basically business as usual. <laughs> The same contract and perk system has returned from F1 2018, as has the spectre of incoming regulation changes that thread to derail months and months of R&D gains on your car. So let's figure out how to mitigate this. The R&D tree system itself is the same too, as are the post-session interviews. Same effervescent Scottish reporter, same surly camera chap, same questions. Well, thanks anyway. Invitational events in retro cars are still sprinkled between F1 championship rounds, but we've played this sort of gear before. It's crisp and gorgeous, and there's a new garage section to ogle cars from any angle, but the F1 2018 was already no slouch in the beauty stakes. The fonts and heart have had a slight spruce up, but the video interstitials between the on-track action haven't changed. It's a new Formula One season, but it's the same Albert Park. Experienced players will have seen these fist pumps and victory animations mountains of times. If I seem like I've begun to repeat myself from previous years, it's because F1 2019 is doing the same thing. Admittedly, there's probably only finite wiggle room for reinvention when you're already an authentic class-leading simulation of a real-life sport, but if things like R&D and practice programs are going to remain set in stone, perhaps added flavor can come from elsewhere. F1 2019 does add long-awaited driver changes, so just like in real life, AI-controlled F1 stars are now free to take on new contracts with rival teams. Yet, I can't help but wonder how about how much more personality F1 2019 would have had if the loose thread Codemasters plucked at during the F2 prologue had been tugged on a little longer. And there's contact! Butler simply left them nowhere to go. On track, F1 2019 feels just as spectacular as we've become accustomed to on a wheel or a gamepad, and as usual, Codemasters has successfully crafted a game that can be either a satisfyingly taxing simulation or an easy-to-grasp arcade experience smoothed out by an array of potent driving aids. The AI is absolutely the best I've seen in the series' 10-year stint at Codemasters. It's assertive and racy, it exploits gaps, and it protects itself effectively. F1 drivers are amongst the best on the planet, and F1 2019's terrific AI does a bang-up job of making them seem that way. The AI is so good, I personally don't know why one would subject themselves to racing against other players online. I certainly have barrels more fun going head-to-head -head with the authentically precise AI opponents than I do subjecting myself to ranked or unranked races against random players that usually unfold with all the civility of a bar brawl. To be fair, however, plenty of piston heads live for this sort of malarkey, and F1 2019 features the series' biggest and boldest multiplayer component yet. There's now a multiplayer spec car designed to 2019 regulations that can be customized with a variety of liveries. Sponsors are locked and the designs are limited to pre-made templates, but color schemes can be changed. Leagues can now be formed from a dedicated hub within the game, allowing keen online racers to more easily seek out like-minded players to regularly play with. Codemasters has also integrated scheduled weekly GPs that you can complete practice and qualifying sessions for leading up to the weekend race, which begins at preset times. There's a lot of multiplayer to chew on here. Even F1's strong official esports culture is baked right into the front end now. So feel free to ignore my general disdain for racing online.
Accessible yet unapologetically authentic, F1 2019 is still best in class when it comes to the art of bringing a modern motorsport to life. However, besides some bold but mostly short-lived tweaks to the career mode and some new functionality for online races, there's a pretty strong sense of deja vu here. F1 2019 is a very, very good game, the best F1 game to date, but it definitely doesn't always seem like a new game. For more sports game analysis that you can shake a sofa and a six-pack at, check out IGN's reviews of Cricket 19 and MLB This Show 19. For everything else, stay on IGN. How did they manage to achieve this win? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. 